As many people probably already know, R. Kelly allegedly has a long history of sexual abuse and misconduct against women. He is now waiting to serve trial on August 14th of 2021. One thing most people don't know is that he has been evicted from five properties since 2015. How does such a high-performing music artist go from roughly $100 million to being evicted by his landlord? And what was the purpose behind Mr. Kelly renting so many different properties over the years? As most people probably know, R. Kelly is a world-renowned music artist and three-time Grammy Awards winner for his song, I Believe I Can Fly. Over the course of 25 years in the music industry, Kelly has won a total of 110 awards from 274 nominations. At the peak of his career, R. Kelly had an estimated net worth of up to $100 million, but with this has had a long alleged criminal history of sexual abuse starting in the 1990s. In 2002, he was indicted on 13 counts of child pornography, but was acquitted of all charges in 2008. Most recently, in January of 2019, he was depicted in a widely viewed Lifetime docuseries titled Surviving R. Kelly. On July 11th of 2019, R. Kelly was arrested in Chicago and has been in custody ever since, waiting to appear in trial. His trial date has been postponed a significant amount of times revolving around the COVID-19 pandemic. Prior to his arrest, one of R. Kelly's biggest issues despite his large multi-million dollar income was money. R. Kelly blames this on multiple people having access to his account and because he is supposedly unable to read, not understanding documents he was signing. Despite this being true or not, one of his greatest money pits has to be the absurd amount of rent he pays for homes and studios, not to mention all the fines and other fees R. Kelly pays for not following rental and renovation guidelines. It's amazing to see the amount of money R. Kelly paid for these homes over the years and unfathomable to see the crimes he allegedly committed during his occupancy at these properties. To start off, R. Kelly was evicted from a Chicago recording studio in May of 2015. Kelly was accused of using the studio located at 320 West Ohio Street for late night parties which spread through shared spaces throughout the building where guests would vomit, urinate, and defecate in the floor. These wild parties rained havoc on the building, disrupting other tenants and leaving restrooms in a mess. The trial for this incident took place at Cook County Circuit Court with the plaintiff seeking $15,000 in rent. R. Kelly's Publishing Incorporated was ordered to vacate the premises on September 30th of 2015 and did not have to pay any of the money to the plaintiff. However, it does not appear that R. Kelly and his entourage left immediately. In addition, R. Kelly has also been accused on numerous occasions of brainwashing a number of young women and effectively treating them as sex slaves by several families and three former employees. They were instructed when to eat, bathe, sleep, and had to perform sexual acts on one another, which the singer then recorded. None of this has been proven yet. In addition, three months after Kelly and his entourage were ordered by the court to vacate the premises of the studio, a police report for battery was filed at the location after one of the sisters of one of R. Kelly's alleged captives was assaulted during a scuffle with the singer and his entourage when she went to the recording studio and tried to rescue her teen sibling. The parents of the 19-year-old singer, who had not been identified publicly, were worried because the teen had been living with R. Kelly for almost two years. Cheryl Mack, Kitty Jones, and Asante McGee, all former members of R. Kelly's entourage, also described in detail the sort of treatment endured by young women who find themselves pulled into the singer's orbit. Mack, Jones, and McGee said there are also at least six women living in the properties rented by the star in Chicago and Atlanta. The guest houses where the women were kept are near his home in Atlanta in his apartment at Trump Towers in Chicago, they said. Mac, who worked as the singer's assistant, told reporters, you have to ask for food, you have to ask go to use the bathroom. Kelly is master in mind control. He is a puppet master. This trend of eviction in girls was very common throughout many other properties R. Kelly was evicted from. For example, on February 13th of 2018, Kelly was evicted from his two Georgia homes. Filings with the magistrate court of the Fulton Court from February 13th show that the Grammy-winning Airbnb singer has been evicted from two homes he was renting in Johns Creek. The documents show that Kelly owes SB Property Management Global LLC more than $31,000 in past due rent. Court filings show that Kelly paid $3,000 per month in rent at St. Devon Crossing and $11,542 per month at Old Homestead Trail. 
These homes are located just two miles apart, and Google Images shows a pool and a basketball court in the rear of one of the homes. These homes were allegedly used by R. Kelly to house a number of women who have been held captive in R. Kelly's sex cult. A few years ago, a woman told TMZ that R. Kelly had tried to lure her into a relationship when she was 20 years old after she was invited backstage at one of his concerts. The woman told TMZ that R. Kelly gave her his phone number and said he would help her with her acting and modeling career. She claims that Kelly invited her to his home in Atlanta telling her to wear something sexy. During the visit, she was allegedly escorted into Kelly's bedroom where he convinced her to pose for intimate photos. The woman told TMZ she was given $200 and she left and was instructed to use it to buy black lingerie, heels, and red lipstick for her next visit. She visited twice more and said that Kelly became more controlling and eventually guilted her into posing naked. She cut off contact after he sent her a one-way plane ticket to be with him in L.A. Another woman, Jocelyn Savage, at age 21, came forward after a report emerged from her parents claiming that she was being held captive by the singer. Her grandmother, Shirley Savage, told DailyMail.com that her granddaughter was so completely under the singer's spell that she did not visit her grandfather before he died from cancer earlier this summer and missed his funeral. But Jocelyn hit back at comments from her family saying her father had known exactly how she had ended up living with the singer two years ago. I'm happy where I'm at and the people I am around, and it is getting out of hand. Seriously, she said in a video released to TMZ. A friend has claimed the young woman's father, Timothy Savage, encouraged his daughter to live with R. Kelly after the family met the performer in a concert when she was 17. The source said Mr. Savage knew Jocelyn would live with Kelly for months, but did not know she would be there for years. R. Kelly's two girlfriends have been evicted from his Trump Tower home in Chicago. They were evicted because after the feds investigated the singer, they allegedly found more than 20 videos of him having sex with minors. The two girlfriends, one of which is Jocelyn Savage, said they were removed from the luxury residence after the 52-year-old's arrest on Thursday night while walking his dog. The feds took over the property because R. Kelly was indicted on 18 federal charges earlier that week, including producing child pornography and raping a minor on camera, The Blast reported. One large money pit was a recording studio he was renting near downtown Chicago. Sources close to the situation share that R. Kelly at one point in 2019 had two weeks to pay more than $80,000 in owed rent or he would be in jeopardy of being removed by the sheriff. The building owner, Midwest Commercial Funding, filed an eviction lawsuit against the singer in January of 2019. Sources say both parties agreed on a deal that Kelly would either pay what he owes or leave. The singer acquired his loan for the property through Midwest Commercial and his contract reportedly assured a 10-year lease with a monthly rent of $22,927. When Kelly missed two balloon payments and failed to pay the monthly rate, the building owner began the eviction process. In a court hearing in early January of 2019, a building department inspector, David Trejo, testified that when he and his team went to the property, they saw windows that had been sealed up and evidence that the building was not being used as a warehouse as intended. After Judge Patrice Bellreed granted the city's motion, Kimberly Roberts, an attorney for the city's law department, told reporters a building being used for residential purposes required smoke detectors and other safety measures that need to be inspected. In addition, some allegations have been leveled of some illegal parties being held at the property, she said. If it was converted, there weren't any permits submitted to the city or any plans to reflect whether things were being done correctly, Robert said, and that's really our biggest concern. We don't know what's been going on because we haven't been inside. If violations are found, the owner could be fined up to $1,000 per day per violation. These are costs that could be passed on to Kelly if it was in violation of the terms of his lease. During their hour-long inspection, city officials did indeed find that R. Kelly violated zone laws by using the recording studio space as a residence. Kelly's lawyer, Steve Greenberg, said the violations do not prove anyone was living there and that it should not be surprising that it included places for sleeping and taking breaks. He also added that the sexual abuse allegations against his client have not been proven. City inspectors did not detail the specifics of what they found or observed inside the studio. Hours prior to the inspection, one of Kelly's associates was seen removing boxes and computer equipment from the building. It was unclear what exactly that person took and why. Following the new hearing, a Cook County judge has determined that Kelly violated 67 zoning codes by converting the warehouse into a studio and residence.
New photos and details of evidence reveal that the space had bathrooms with toiletries in it, bathrobes and hooks, piles of clothes and mattresses on the floor, as well as a wet bar, sauna, pool table, and lounge area. It looks like people are living there, and that's not good. Judge Patrice Ballaried said in her ruling, it's a recording studio. It shouldn't be a party place. The court will now decide how much Kelly must pay in fines. He could face up to $67,000 for each day he was violating the code. Online recordings show that the 8,000 square foot building was originally listed on the market for a little under $4 million. Today, it is currently on the market for $2.15 million. The real estate listing states, the property is fully rented with a high profile tenant paying nearly $23,000 a month. The first floor has a fully built-in recording studio, lounge, and full kitchen. The lease, made public as part of the eviction lawsuit, shows that Kelly was granted permission to modify the existing recording studio to meet his specific needs. He also was allowed under the terms of his lease to create an apartment-type area on the second floor, according to the records. However, the lease specifically stated that Kelly was responsible for complying with all applied laws and building codes when making the alterations. Halfway through 2019, in July, the rent had still gone unpaid. At this point, a Cook County judge had ordered Sonny to give all the money in R. Kelly's royalty account, more than $1.5 million, to the singer's former landlord to cover past due rent. On top of this, in 2019, Kelly was sued by a woman who alleged she was sexually abused by the singer. She was awarded $4 million last March. The woman is one of Kelly's four alleged victims in his pending criminal case in Cook County. Kelly rented the warehouse at 219 North Justine Street in Chicago until a highly publicized inspection by the city's Department of Buildings revealed numerous code violations. The building is now for rent and is being renovated, according to the rental listing of this property. Fast forwarding back to July 11th of 2019, R. Kelly was initially arrested for 13 counts of indictment. These charges included exploitation of children, conspiracy to defraud the U.S., and cohesion. R. Kelly pleaded not guilty, but has been placed behind bars waiting for his trial ever since. Most recently, R. Kelly has been jailed in New York City in anticipation of a sex trafficking trial later this summer. He arrived there in the afternoon of June 22nd from Chicago, where he was being held on similar charges. R. Kelly is 54 years old and is accused of leading an enterprise made up of his managers, bodyguards, and other employees who helped him recruit women and girls for sex. Federal prosecutors say the group selected victims at concerts and other venues and arranged for them to travel to see Kelly. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to all charges and has requested bail a significant amount of time. Due to him being a high flight risk, he has been denied bail all times. Today, R. Kelly's new trial date is set for September 13th of 2021. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Northern District of Illinois, as of April 4th, 2021, Kelly is charged with one count of conspiracy to receiving child pornography, two counts of receiving child pornography, four counts of producing child pornography, five counts of enticement of a minor to engage in criminal sexual activity, and one count of conspiracy of obstruction of justice. As R. Kelly prepares for his trial, he has been granted access to speak with his lawyers seven days a week as they visit him at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.